Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. My name is Gary and Raver. This time I'm showing you something from Wireless Redstone CBE. These are the Wireless Transmitter and Wireless Receiver. These are two separate blocks that are both required to use Wireless Redstone. So first of all, the Wireless Transmitter. To craft this, you need two Obsidian, four Redstone Dust, four Glowstone Dust, one ender pearl, two stone wire, and one stone wafer. First of all, you place the two obsidian one above the other to produce two obsidian sticks. Then you place the ender pearl in the center and alternate redstone and glowstone dust around it to produce the wreather pearl. It is called this because the wireless redstone is transmitted through the redstone ether or wreather. You then place an obsidian stick with the wreather pearl above it to produce a wireless transceiver. Finally, you place the stone wafer in the bottom left corner and the stone wire across it. The obsidian stick above the wafer and the transceiver above the obsidian stick to produce a wireless transmitter. To produce the wireless receiver, you need everything that you needed for the transmitter plus three stone blocks. Again, you turn the obsidian into sticks and produce a wreather pearl and a wireless transceiver. However, the additional step is that you place the three stone as you would for a bowl to produce a stone bowl. You then place a stone bowl with the transceiver above it to produce a receiver dish. Then you place the stone wafer in the bottom left, the wire across from it, the obsidian stick above the wafer and the receiver dish above the stick to produce a wireless receiver. These are placed by right clicking and when they're placed as you can see they have a zero on them. By right clicking you open up a GUI and here it allows you to set the frequency for the transmitter and receiver. The way that this wireless redstone works is if a transmitter is powered any receivers on the same frequency will also be powered. So here I have set both of these to 1 and if I flick this switch that becomes powered, it then transmits it to this and the lamp is then powered. This frequency can be set to anything between 1 and 5000. Any higher than 5000 and it resets it to 0. Note that no signal is transmitted on the frequency 0. If you click advanced on either the transmitter or the receiver GUIs, it brings up a second part of the menu. This allows you to name frequencies. So for example, frequency one shall now be called white lamp. So as you can see, if I change this from zero to one, the white lamp has lit up. If I change to two, that is the yellow lamp, and three is the blue lamp. To quickly swap between named frequencies, simply double click them, and it will apply that frequency. Note that this wireless transmission has an infinite range, however the chunks with the transmitter and the receiver must both be loaded. Finally, in the bottom right corner of the advanced GUI is Spectrum, and this allows you to assign a colour to the phase shift. This is done using Lumar, which is used in the production of red power lamps. If you go into the GUI while holding Lumar, it allows you to scroll through the different colours of Lumar you have and assign one to a frequency. Here I have chosen blue Lumar with the blue lamp and I click phase shift. So now frequency 3 is on the blue spectrum. I can do the same for yellow. However, if I phase shift to white, it simply resets it and all unused frequencies are by default on white. Note that this has no effect on the transmission and is used with add-ons for this mod and thus is simply aesthetic at this point. As these are based on the logic circuits from Red Power, you can use a Red Power screwdriver and right click to turn them. To remove these you can just use your fist and they pop off. Thank you for watching, if you have any requests please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also if you have any requests not to do with the Technipack, please let me know. Catch you later.